BYSE, L, shares. The insider Ma Sarah E sold 14,552 shares worth $1.46 million. Fayez Serafim and company who had been investing in Anheuser Bus kind of the slash and sponitor for a number of months, seems to be bullish on the $205.30 billion market cap company. The stock decreased 2.05% or $2.34 during the last trading session, reaching $111.76. About 2.04 million shares traded or 23.96% up from the average. Allen Investment Management LLC increased its stake in Anheuser-Busch and Thefsa slash NB, BUD, by 8.24% based on its latest 2017 Q3 regulatory filing with the SEC. It has underperformed by 20.25% the S&P 500. Gilman Hill Asset Management reported 3,191 shares stake. Motco holds 0.03% or 2,373 shares, about 2.04 M shares traded or 23.96% up from the average. The TJX Companies Inc., NASDAQ GLPI, has risen 10.92% since February 4, 2017 and is uptrending. It has underperformed by 13.32% the S&P 500. Investors' sentiment increased to 1.53 in Q3 2017. It's up 0.06 from 1.32 in 2017 Q2. It improved as 30 investors sold but shares while 138 reduced holdings. A number of hedge funds and other institutional investors have recently made changes to their positions in the business. Wall Street brokerages forecast that Anheuser-Busch and BevNB and YSE, Bud, will post $14.51 billion in sales for the current fiscal quarter. Zach's Investment Research reports, 1832 Asset LP stated it has 163,718 shares. P6 Invests Limited Partnership holds 55,837 shares. FBR Capital maintained the shares of Cease and Report on Tuesday, April 11 with buy rating. Ledyard Finkel Bank. A New Hampshire-based fund reported 39,448 shares. Covington Capital Management has 0.02% invested in Anheuser-Busch and Bevs slash NB, NYSE, Bud for 2,262 shares. Ellington GRP Limited LLC holds 0.04% of its portfolio in Anheuser-Busch and Bevs slash NB, NYSE, Bud, for 1,900 shares. Shares of Anheuser-Busch and Bev, NYSE Bud, opened at $111.76 on Friday. Coastline Company holds 2,501 shares. The Ohio-based Sequoia Limited Limited Liability Company has invested 0.03% in Anheuser-Busch in Bevsa slash NB, NYSE, Bud. Seaglob Invests owns 58,389 shares. Anheuser-Busch in Bevsa slash NB, a brewing company, engages in the production, distribution, and sale of beer alcoholic beverages, and soft drinks worldwide. Among 22 analysts covering Anheuser-Busch and Bev, NYSE, Bud, 14 have buy rating, 2 sell and 6 hold. Therefore 38% are positive. According to Zacks, analysts expect that Anheuser-Busch and Bev will report full-year sales of $14.51 billion for the current fiscal year, with estimates ranging from $56.22 billion to $56.36 billion. BTG Pactual Global Asset Management Limited increased Anheuser-Busch and Bevs slash NB, BUD, stake by 25.97% reported in 2017 Q3 SEC filing. Stern AGCRT maintained Anheuser-Busch and Bevs slash NB, NYSE, Bud. On Thursday, September 17 with buy rating, JP Morgan downgraded Anheuser-Busch and Bevs slash NB, NYSE, Bud. On Tuesday, December 5th to underweight rating. Robert W. Baird initiated it with neutral rating in $20 target in Friday, November 13th report. The firm earned buy rating on Thursday, May 25th by Stiefel Nikolaus. The company was downgraded on Tuesday, July 21st by Nomura. The company was reinitiated on Wednesday, January 11th by UBS. Archford Capital Strategies LLC, which manages about $349.45 million and $266.63 million U.S. long portfolio, decreased its stake in Vanguard Materials Index, VAW, 
by 36,396 shares to 6,516 shares, valued at $837,000 in 2017 Q3, according to the filing. It also reduced its holding in Remax Holdings Incorporated Salem Investment Counselors reported 150 shares. BMO Capital Markets maintained the stock with hold trading in Sunday, July 30th report. Therefore 86% are positive, Accenture PLC had 88 analyst reports since August 12, 2015 according to Sratings Intel. Credit Suisse maintained the TJX Companies Inc. As per Monday, November 2, the company rating was upgraded by CLSA, Susquehanna has hold rating in $11,100 target. The rating was downgraded by Goldman Sachs to sell on Wednesday, January 31. The stock of Fibria Cellulose S.A., NYSE, FBR, earned equal weight rating by Morgan Stanley on Friday, July 24. Sorobam Capital Partners LP bought 750,000 shares as the company's stock rose 8.45% with the market. The firm earned buy rating on Thursday, September 17 by Stern AGCRT. Wolf Research maintained the TJX Companies Inc. The firm has hold rating by Stiefel Nikolaus given on Thursday, October 26. Argus Research upgraded the shares of Ellen Report on Tuesday, August 22 to buy rating, and for Friday, May 5, the company rating was maintained by Susquehanna. Investors' sentiment decreased to 1 in Q3 2017. It's down 0.05 from 0.86 in 2017 Q2. It fall, as 59 investors sold TJX shares while 374 reduced holdings, V2 funds opened positions while 49 raised stakes, Spectrum Asset MNGMT, and BCA, accumulated 1,680 shares. Moreover, ANG LP has 0.19% invested in Gaming and Leisure Properties Inc., NYSE, TJX, Commerce Bangkok Chiang Shaft V holds 14,297 shares or 0.01% of its portfolio. Have referred trust company now owns 874,549 shares of the consumer goods maker's stock worth $104,334,000 after purchasing an additional 13,158 shares during the last quarter. Shares for $1.41 million were sold by Frida Fabrizio. The Coho Partners Limited holds 2,137 shares with $289,000 value, down from 25,735 last quarter. Horizon INVS VCS Limited Com holds 1.93% in First American Financial Corporation, NYSE, or 91,207 shares. Palladium PRTN Limited invested in 2,902 shares. Royal State Bank of Canada has invested 0% in SeaWorld Entertainment Inc. Renaissance GP Limited Liability stated it has 1.4% in the Boeing Company, NYSE, BA, NYSE, C's, D.E. Shaw and stated it has 0% in SeaWorld Entertainment Inc.